Bicycles have been a mode of transport since the early 19th century. Through the decades, the design has shaped them, developed them for better performance, and enhanced them so we can reach high speeds. These human-powered vessels have served as the base of design for human-powered transportation. But do you know who invented bicycles? Or when the first one was made? Number 1. Who invented the first bicycle? Bicycles have evolved throughout the past couple of hundred years, and it all began in 1817. Carl von Dreis, a German baron, designed a two-wheel contraption that was one of the first ever bicycles made. It was made from wood and didn't have pedals, brakes, or a chain. The rider would mount a bicycle and then kick off with their feet to gain momentum. This invention gained many names such as hobby horse, running machine, and velocipede. Dreis is known as the father of bicycles. Number 2. When was the turning point in bicycle design? It wasn't until the 1860s when the bicycle really began to develop into the form that we use today. French inventors Pierre Lalmont, Pierre Michaud, and Ernest Michaud worked on creating bicycles with pedals. Initial designs had the pedal attached to the front wheel, and these were what we know as penny farthings. The front wheel was considerably larger than the back, and there were pedals on the front with a small seat and handlebars. This design became known as the Bonnechecker for its bumpy ride. These really took off in the 1870s to 1880s and were the inspiration for setting up bicycle clubs and competitive races. Number 3. How did the Bonnechecker influence bicycle design? Although the penny farthing was the turning point in developing bicycle design, they were difficult to ride. With a seat perched at 4 feet 1.2 meters, the bicycle was not only difficult to mount but unsafe if you were to fall. Therefore in 1885, English designer John Kemp Starley invented the safety bicycle called the Rover. This was a huge advancement in bicycle design at the time. The safety bicycle had equally sized wheels and a chain drive, shortly followed by brakes and tires. This was the template for what we call a bicycle today. In the 1890s, bicycles became the latest fashion across Europe and the US. In 1889 the first women's safety bicycle was launched, making the mode of transport available to everyone. The safety bicycle was the catalyst in designing human-powered transport. Number 4. When were unicycles invented? Unicycles are one-wheeled bicycles, and surprisingly they were not invented before two-wheeled bicycles. The first design for a unicycle was patented in 1869, and it was based on the penny farthing design. Unicycles are considerably harder to ride than a bicycle with two wheels, and therefore became associated with entertainers. It took skill to mount and ride a unicycle as there were no handlebars for balance, and very few could do it successfully. Number 5. Are electric bicycles a modern adaption to the safety bicycle? You might think that electric bicycles are a fairly modern adaptation to original human-powered bicycles, but they are just as old. Shortly after the safety bicycle was designed, development into different types of bicycles began. The first electric-powered bicycle was patented on December 31, 1895, by American inventor Ogden Bolton Jr. This design had a 10-volt battery attached that would provide around 100 amps to the motor. In 1897 Hasia W. Libby invented an electric bicycle that had a double electric motor. Japanese automotive company Yamaha built one of the first prototypes for an e-bike in 1989. Development into electric bicycles continued for a few years in the US. Number 6. Who invented the folding bicycle? It wasn't until the early 20th century that people started to show an interest in the concept of a folding bicycle. Danish engineer Mikkel Pedersen invented the first folding bicycle in Britain in 1900. It was developed for the British Army and weighed 15 pounds or 6.8 kilograms and had 24 inch or 60 centimeters wheels. Although it was designed for military use, it became popular with the public too. The design was the first of its kind, however, it didn't fold but separated into two parts. Peterson's folding and military bicycle was phased out within four years of launch. It wasn't until 60 years later, in 1962, when Moulton released their stowaway model of folding bicycles, that these types of bicycles came back into fashion. Number 7. How many types of bicycles are there? It is difficult to put a number on the exact number of bicycle designs available today, as there are many brands creating bicycles across the world. Some of the most common types of bicycles are mountain bicycles, road bicycles, cruisers, tandems, BMX bicycles, and many more. Bicycles have been designed to suit specific terrains and weathers as well as speeds. You can find a bicycle for pretty much any type or style of riding, bicycles are an important mode of human-powered transport. Without them, 
we would be reliant on walking, trains, or using vehicles which would limit our journeys. Not only are they an eco-friendly way of getting about, but they are also a great form of da daily exercise. If you like the video support us by subscribing the channel. This is all for today we will meet sometime soon.